stop at our red lights and traffic is crossing around and have you. And uh, how many people do you have involved in this? Uh, so far we got one. I just want to call... Uh... Hi. Hi. I'm Lucia Barron. Hi. I'm at the Comfort Inn and George is staying at my property. Okay. So he's asked me because I bought him here. Okay. He's asking me if I could follow one of your cars. Yep. And just follow it along because I'm not quite sure what route you're yep. going so that I can pick him up at the yep. end no, of this trail. No, what we'll do trail. is we're going to have this, the marked vehicle in front. Yes. And then any people that are walking or any uh, escort vehicles of your vehicles, that is, so yours can go in between. Okay. And that be would right be right in between ours and the people. And then we'll have the second police car as uh, the last vehicle. Okay. Just to provide anybody from trying to cut in and for safety reasons too. Oh, that would, that would be but great. We have to stay to one lane and we're going to keep the right hand lane the whole time through the yes. entire route. So you, you obviously know where we're going, yep. right? Yeah. Okay. So as I say, you've got the lead, one of yep. your vehicles, this that this is the lead vehicle, vehicle anyway. Yep. But don't, don't leave too much of a lag between you and the gentleman because we don't want a car getting in. No, no, right. I understand that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, don't put them on the monitor of my car, but... No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't want nobody squeezing in, thinking they can cut it yeah. in front of so, you. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is uh, we're waiting for the minister to come out. Okay. Do the official passing the report. Okay. And just a couple of brief speeches. The torch will be lit. Uh, and then we'll probably do a bit more shots with the uh, cameras. Okay. Uh, and then at some point we're going to get ready to do the, uh, uh, the actual run. Okay. Uh, we're going to start off with the uh, student in the wheelchair. Okay. And I've just got to point out how far he's going to go, whether he's coming down the steps or, or where, where we're going to meet it, so, you know. And then the other student uh, that's going to be jogging with it will take over, we'll relay it from the Okay, student. so we'll go around this way and then go out in front of legislative buildings. Down probably down that that would probably make okay. more sense. And the other thing I wanted to ask if uh, the officers can take part in the photo walk, in the lighting of the torch. I, I sure, asked. If you'd the, like sorry, to. Yeah, I would yep. really like sure. that. Okay. No problem. Okay. Definitely. Perfect then. Okay. okay. George, can we ask you a couple of questions? Sure. George, <laughs> <laughs> probably don't. You just really got told I'm you were going to do this. Okay. Uh, Basically, I'm just going to give a little history about the torch, yeah. uh, and then I'll introduce you to say a few words, okay. and then uh, what your role will be is to pass the torch to both students, which, did you get to know them yet? Uh, I know Sam? I know Sam from another oh, life, okay. And then the other student uh, is Grant, and we'll okay. get you the full name too. So you'll, you'll light the torch, and you'll pass it to the two students for the photo op, okay. and then we're going to be on our way. Okay, excellent. Okay. All right. You'll, okay. Just, you'll tell me when it's time? Yeah, I'll tell you when it's time. About five, ten, yes. five minutes. Five okay. Minutes. All right. Okay. Thanks. Uh, where right, right. And this, and this please, is your escort? Yeah. As soon as we, yeah. they're going to be part of the photo op. And, and uh, this is uh, Lucia from the Comfort Inn. She's Hi. helping out with accommodations. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for supporting us, George. Oh, you're right. welcome. Well, it's a great cause. We never know when we're going to need it, do we? Oh, yeah. Well, that's for sure. So he's given me the camera, and I said, what do I do? Oh, he said, it's turned on. He said, just hold it up. I said, okay. It's got seven hours of battery, so yeah. it's going to be editing a lot out. <laughs> well, today the uh, Torch of Life has arrived in uh, Winnipeg. This famous torch was blessed That's by okay. Pope John Paul II uh, seven years ago, and when he blessed it, uh, he, uh, on behalf of Vatican City, called organ and tissue donation a genuine act of love, and he encouraged the entire world to become organ donors. And uh, he also mentioned to me to, to make sure when you go back to Canada that the youth get involved in this. And that's why we constructed over a hundred students from uh, St. John's uh, all the way to uh, Egalut, none of it, uh, to take part in, in carrying the torch so that they can inspire the entire community to become organ donors. And that's our goal. Now you had mentioned to me on the phone that Canadians have the lowest rate of organ donation. Is that in the world? That's in the world, yes. And, and a lot of Canadians don't know this and, and, and you know, uh, they need to know this because we have over 4,000 Canadians as we speak that are on the, the waiting list and every day somebody's dying on that waiting list because an organ's not arriving and when we die, uh, organs are taken out anyways and they're thrown in the garbage. You know, a lot of people don't know that. So uh, if we can effectively bring this message to every Canadian from coast to coast, and, and we can get everybody to become organ donors, we can solve this. We don't have to go into any medical labs to look for a cure. The cure is within us. 
this is a solvable issue that can save many, many, many lives. Uh, you yourself are an organ donor, correct? Tell me about that. Yes, I am. I received a liver transplant 12 years ago. I was told I had two days left to live, and that's a situation that most of those 4,000 Canadians are faced with as we speak. And I was fortunate to have received that liver, and I knew that the situation was this bad, and that uh, I vowed that if I uh, did get an opportunity to survive, that I would spend the rest of my life trying to change this. Wow, that's incredible. So you've uh, you've come from where to here? Uh, we started in St. John's on October the 1st, 2007. We've done over 80 communities uh, so far uh, with great turnouts. Uh, we're, we're also trying to get the uh, government uh, to make this issue more of a priority and uh, uh, we, you know we still got a long ways to go um, I'm heading west to Victoria and then climbing up north to Whitehorse, Yellowknife and finishing in uh, Egalut, none of it on June 13th. That's a long way to go for an important cause. Yes it is and I'm greyhounding it. No kidding. Yep, Look believe it or not I'm, I'm every day I'm finding out what the, I, I know the schedule of greyhounds better than probably anybody now. Uh, so I'm getting on their bus, getting off the bus, and fixing the communities. And uh, you know, and uh, I haven't been getting any support uh, from from the government. So I'm hoping that if people get a chance, they can look at our website sos4000.com. If they want to make a, a small donation, that would be great. They can get their tax receipt right on the uh, online. Perfect. Thank you very much, George. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. We'll let you get to it. Okay. So. Um,